Hi guys, welcome to Shields Cooking. Today I'm going to show you how to make a classic chicken balotine. A balotine is a whole deboned chicken and then it's stuffed with a farce. The farce I'm going to flavor with some fried set and then we're going to serve it with a mushroom cream, a sauce that we're going to make from the bones and the trimmings and a beautiful parsley oil. If you haven't done already, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing cooking videos and from now on it's also possible to become a Shields Cooking member and join the Shields Cooking community. More about that in the description and for now, let's begin. We're going to begin with the chicken. First take a sharp knife and cut off the wings. All the trimmings we can keep for later. Then cut off the tail. This is the only part that you need to throw away because the flavor is really bad. Now turn your chicken around, give it a little push and start by making an incision along the spine. Then just continue cutting down all along the carcass. Every time you come across a joint, you just cut it off. Once the carcass is completely removed, you gently pull the legs from the skin. Use your knife if it's still attached on some places. Then separate the wings from the breast and cut away the bones. Now remove the meat from the wings. Then we can make the filling. For this, first clean around 250 grams of sap mushroom. Now add a generous amount of salt to some lukewarm water and mix this. Add your saps and wash them until they're completely clean. The salt in the water will help with removing any small bugs. Once they're clean, transfer them on the kitchen paper and let them air dry for 15 minutes. Then cut them in big chunks. Now heat up a frying pan, add a splash of oil and fry the cut saps. Add some salt for seasoning and once the saps start to color, add a little knot of butter and continue frying them for another minute. Then transfer them on the kitchen paper. Now take the chicken legs and use the tip of your knife to cut away the bones and any other membranes. Once they're clean, add the meat from the wings and chop it roughly. Now transfer the meat into a food processor and also add 5 grams of salt, 1 egg and 50 grams of butter. Now blender this till it's a smooth paste. Once that's done, add 70 grams of cream and when the cream is incorporated, directly stop mixing to prevent it from splitting. Also make sure all the ingredients are cold, otherwise you have a higher chance of splitting the farce as well. Now transfer it into a bowl and add the fried saps. Mix this, cover it with plastic foil and keep it in your fridge for later. Now take your chicken and gently remove the breast from the skin. Then lay some plastic foil on your worktop and put the chicken with the fin part towards each other on the plastic. Put another layer of plastic foil on top and use a small saucepan to flatten the chicken into a sheet that's the same size as the chicken skin. Now use a dough scraper to tidy up the edges. Then put another sheet of plastic foil on your worktop and transfer the chicken skin on there. Make sure that it's nice and tight and lay the chicken breast on the skin. Season the top with some salt. Now take the farce and divide it in a long line in the beginning of the chicken. When necessary, make it even with a pellet knife. Now use the foil to cover the farce with the chicken and make a nice roll. Then lay some plastic wrap on your worktop and transfer the chicken roll on there. Now wrap it as tight as possible. Then close one end with a knot and use the other end to roll it even more tight and also make a knot on that side. Now trim the edges and let the roll set in your fridge for around 3 hours. 
Once that's done, lay around 8 pieces of tying rope vertically on your worktop and lay one horizontal. Now lay your chicken on there and tie everything together. Make sure that it's tight, but not so tight that you press away any filling. Now cut away any excess rope and tie one more horizontal string on the chicken. Then keep it covered in your fridge for later. Now let's make a sauce from the bones and the trimmings. First chop the bones and the carcass into smaller pieces. Then take 500 grams of mushrooms and chop them. After that, clean two big onions and chop them as well. Now heat up a big frying pan, add a splash of oil and fry the chopped chicken until it has a nice light brown color. Then deglaze it with 400 grams of white wine and let it reduce completely. Once it's reduced, transfer it into a big pot. Then add some more oil to the frying pan and start frying your vegetables. When they have a nice light brown color, deglaze the pan with 80 grams of dark rum and carefully flambe it with a blowtorch. Let it reduce and then add it to the chicken bones. Now add half a liter of water to the frying pan and bring it to a boil. Then add it to the big pot and also add another half a liter of water. Then also add 4 springs of thyme, half a bulb of garlic that's cut in half and 400 grams of cream. Now let it simmer for a couple of hours. After that put it through a fine sieve. Then use a hand blender to emulsify the sauce and give it a taste for seasoning. When necessary reduce it some more or season it with salt. Then for the mushroom cream, first chop 700 grams of mushrooms. Now heat up a big pot, add a splash of oil and fry the mushrooms till golden. Directly add a generous amount of salt for seasoning. Once golden, deglaze the pot with 40 grams of white wine vinegar and also add 300 grams of cream. Reduce this and then transfer it into a big blender. Now blender everything till it's a smooth cream. Also check for seasoning. Now for the parsley oil. Pick enough leaves for 40 grams. Then transfer the parsley into a blender and add 250 grams of neutral oil. Now blender this till the oil is at 65 degrees Celsius. The oil will heat up because of the friction from the blender. Once that's done, pour it on the sieve that's laid with the kitchen paper and let it drain in your fridge. After that we can start to finish the dish. First heat up a big frying pan and add a splash of oil. Be sure that the oil is hot before putting in the chicken, otherwise the skin will stick to the pan. Now fry it all around till golden and crispy. Once that's done, transfer it onto an oven rack and bake it for another 10 minutes at 170 degrees Celsius. Then let it rest for at least 10 minutes. Meanwhile, take your sauce and mix it with a little bit of the oil. Then take a plate and put a round cutter in the middle. Now pipe a thin lime of the mushroom cream around the side and then remove the round cutter. After that, pipe some of the cream in the middle. Now take the chicken and use a sharp knife to cut it and then remove the strings. Place the chicken on the cream and finish the dish with a couple of spoons of the delicious sauce. This was so good. The chicken was still super juicy, the skin crispy and it went perfectly with the mushroom cream and the parsley oil. Okay guys, that's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed the video. So please let me know in the comments on what you want to see next. Like and share the video and subscribe if you want to support my channel and see more amazing cooking videos. And as always, bon appetit!